Imagine a world where energy storage isn't just efficient, it's revolutionary. Picture a battery that can harness vast amounts of renewable energy, lasting decades without breaking a sweat, all while relying on a single element in its chemistry. It might sound like science fiction, but it's real. Meet the Vanadium Redox Flow Battery, VRFB. In our latest exploration, we uncover the secrets of VRFBs, how they work, their potential pitfalls, and the boundless opportunities they offer for our energy future. These batteries don't just store energy. They redefine how we think about power storage, using Vanadium's unique properties to create a sustainable, scalable solution. Join us as we delve into the intricate chemistry and engineering marvels of VRFBs. Discover why these batteries are more than just a breakthrough. They're a game changer in our quest for cleaner, more reliable energy. This is more than a battery. It's a glimpse into a future where energy is abundant, efficient, and sustainable. Grid energy storage is the process of storing excess electricity generated by power plants or renewable sources and releasing it when needed to balance the supply and demand of the grid. VRBs can help stabilize the grid by smoothing out the fluctuations in power generation and consumption, as well as providing backup power in case of emergencies. One of the innovative strides that have been taken to bolster VRFB's efficiency is the introduction of a spiral flow shield, which improves the distribution of the electrolytes within the cell stack and reduces the pressure drop and ohmic losses. This addresses the challenge of low energy density, which is one of the main drawbacks of VRFBs compared to other batteries. When we compare VRFBs to other types of batteries, such as lithium ion ones, we can see that VRFBs have some clear advantages when it comes to large scale operations. For instance, VRFBs have a very long cycle life, meaning that they can be charged and discharged thousands of times without losing much of their capacity. They also have a high round-trip efficiency, meaning that they can retain most of the energy that they store, and they are very adaptable, as they can manage their power and energy independently by adjusting the flow rate and the concentration of the electrolytes. Another benefit of VRFBs is their flexibility in terms of installation and location. Unlike some other energy storage solutions, such as pumped hydro or compressed air, VRFBs do not require specific geographical features or environmental conditions. They can be installed in remote areas, urban settings, or even on ships or vehicles. They can also be easily integrated with renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind, to provide a stable and reliable supply of electricity. Lithium-ion batteries are widely used for stationary energy storage, but they have many drawbacks. They can only store energy for a few hours, and they degrade quickly if they are fully discharged and recharged. This means they have a short lifespan of about eight years, and they are costly to own and maintain. Moreover, they pose safety hazards when they are stacked together, as they can easily ignite and cause fires. They are also hard to recycle and recover materials from, adding to the environmental impact. As the demand for renewable energy sources like wind and solar grows, so does the need for longer energy storage durations. Lithium ion batteries are not suitable for this purpose, as they are inefficient and expensive. What can replace them? Flow batteries. Flow batteries have many advantages over lithium ion batteries. They can store energy for days or weeks, and they do not degrade with repeated cycling. They are also safer and more scalable, as they can be easily expanded by adding more tanks of fluid. They are also more recyclable and reusable, as the chemicals can be replenished or replaced. One of the most advanced and commercially available flow batteries is the Vanadium Redox Flow Battery. This technology has been developed and improved by various companies, but it has faced some challenges due to the fluctuating prices of Vanadium, a key component. Some companies have gone bankrupt because of this, for example, Uni Energy, Envolt, and Storage. However, VRFBs still have a lot of potential, especially in the emerging market for medium and long duration storage systems. And so there is ongoing research that is crucial to improve the performance and durability of VRFBs and to find alternative or cheaper materials that can replace or complement vanadium.
The researchers and engineers in the field of VRFBs are working hard to solve these problems and to optimize and refine the design and operation of these batteries. In China, a massive project by Dalian Ronka Power is said to be the largest flow battery ever built, with a capacity of 100 MW 400 MWh. This project will almost double the global capacity of flow batteries. Infinity Energy Systems PLC is a company that is at the forefront of the VRFB industry, offering cutting-edge products and services that can store and deliver large amounts of energy for various applications. The company's vision is to enable a sustainable and clean energy future, where VRFBs can play a vital role in supporting the integration of renewable energy sources and enhancing the resilience and reliability of the power grid. So, what's the application of this technology to the EV industry? Well, there are several reports that this battery tech can replace lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles one day. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind are the future of the power grid, but they have a major challenge. They depend on weather. When the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, they produce a lot of electricity. But when it's cloudy or calm, they produce none. To ensure a stable and reliable supply of electricity 24 7 we need a way to store the excess energy when it's available and use it when it's needed. And we need a lot of storage because sometimes there can be no wind for days. That's where flow batteries come in. Flow batteries have many advantages over conventional batteries. They can store hundreds of megawatt hours of energy, enough to power thousands of homes for hours. They can also last for decades without losing their capacity or efficiency. They are safer and more scalable as they can be easily expanded by adding more tanks and they are more environmentally friendly as they can be recycled or reused. One of the most promising applications of flow batteries is to support electric vehicle charging stations. Electric vehicles are another key component of the renewable energy transition, but they also need a lot of electricity to charge their batteries. Flow batteries can provide a fast and reliable source of electricity for electric vehicles using renewable energy sources to charge their own batteries. This is what two trial projects are testing in South Korea and Australia. V-Flow Technology, a startup from Singapore, is installing its PowerCube flow battery systems at existing gas stations in South Korea. The PowerCube systems have a capacity of 150 kW 500 kWh and can support intelligent DC fast charging infrastructure. The flow batteries can be placed underground, saving space and using the existing infrastructure of the gas stations. The flow batteries will be charged by local renewable energy sources, such as solar panels or wind turbines. The pilot project aims to show the potential of using flow batteries for EV charging, as they can provide reliable and clean energy and operate at wider temperature ranges and reduce fire risks compared to other solutions. The project also hopes to pave the way for a nationwide network of self-reliant, distributed hybrid gas and EV stations, where urban and rural areas can benefit from this technology. The pilot project in South Korea follows a successful test project in Singapore, where VFLO Tech has enabled a solar-charged EV charging station using its flow batteries. This project demonstrates the feasibility and benefits of using flow batteries for EV charging in tropical climates. VFLOW Tech is also involved in a similar but smaller project in Western Australia, where it is supplying its PowerCube flow battery systems to VSUN Energy, a subsidiary of Australian Vanadium Limited that is developing vanadium production and processing in Western Australia. Via Flowtech is a pioneer in using flow batteries for EV charging, and it is contributing to the transition to renewable energy and sustainable mobility. By 2025, South Korea plans to have 500,000 EV charging stations to support more than a million EVs, and Via Flowtech is ready to meet this demand with its innovative and green technology. So, keep an eye on Via Flowtech because they're definitely onto something big here. Who knows, maybe in a few years we'll all be charging our EVs with flow batteries thanks to these guys from Singapore. How cool would that be? What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.